So this is a lesson nine of the tie loss training course, which includes the um, provision to put non-regular points on the distance ruler, as well as grid lines on the body of the chart. So first of all, we want to create a bit of space below the distance ruler that we can see these. Then we need to get the data itself from a spreadsheet. So we're going to first of all take the sector sectors we've broken the job into three main lumps and it's got a star and end distance that's the differentiation between a sector and as you'll see in a minute a distance profile so having got that on the clipboard we go to project data distance axis definition sector profiles right mouse click to make a new one give it a name and we then click on the import export setting. So we then have to match the data that we want. So we want to say we've got the name in column one. So we want that to be imported. We've got the start distance in column two. We've got the end distance in column three and we've got the type in column four. I'll talk about the type in a minute and then we click on import. So then we've got the same information that we've got in the spreadsheet. We can't uh, link it to the spreadsheet. It's got to be re-imported if we make a change to it. So we've created that and that's now in the library. But the sector type is uh, another library item that I've created in advance. So that's in the library section under other libraries, sector types, and the one I've created called um, section if I double click on that this is where you give it a color so this is where you can affect the color uh, of uh, a sector so you could have different colors if you had different sector types so we've created our sector profile now we go to the distance ruler and we add a new row to the bottom of that so this is a, a heading for the um, legend that says sections we choose the sector profile that we want to display but we only want values out of that profile we want the background color to be like the color set in the library uh, if that wasn't ticked then we can set the color uh, here but um, i also want the font to be bold white and 10 points and the, we want to display the sector name in there. So we press the F8 function key and from the sector profile, we say we want the name. So when we click on OK, we've got that section, that display. And the only thing I need to do then is to set the text placement so that we put the, the name of it before the, before the line itself. So it's, it sits in the middle of the section. Um, so then we've uh, included that. Now we also have some bridges along the way. We want to display those. So we select those and these are gonna go in a distance profile and that's only got one dist value for distance. So we copy that to the clip clipboard. We go to our distance profile. We right mouse click on that and we create a new one and we call this bridges. and we go click on the import column settings so we are going to say that we want to import the name which is in column one so that needs a tick we've got the distance in column two that needs a tick we've got the type in column three that needs a tick and these are irrelevant because they're not there and then we can click on import so we've got the same thing and now but it's only got one distance value so having created the um, misspelt distance profile we go back to our distance ruler we add another line which is called bridges uh, we want to display the text that is coming from the press the f8 from the distance profile name and we want that to be after the line and centered we want it to be a eight point font and we want it to come from a distance profile called bridges and we're only going to display those values and we're not going to tick the background color so we just want the 
name to the left of the line. So we could have it on the line, straddling it. We could have it before the line. Um, so if the names are too long and the, and the bridges are too close together, you might not see one of them. So we can then close the sp spare space up to make that clear. And we want to display those bridges on the body of the diagram. So we go to, we're going to include that in a grid. We've already got a, a grid that we've created. We're going to add a, um, we're going to add a new row to that. So which we're going to call bridges just to remind ourselves. We're going to choose the same distance profile. We want to display just those values, but we do want to use the color for the line style and we want to make the line thicker. So then we can include that on the body of the chart. And you can also use that for setting the start and end distance of an activity. So if we were to choose a, a, a linear activity, maybe topsoil strip we can we can snap to those um, values um, when we draw it on the grid we can use that so on the grid setting we can choose to snap to the bridges and in tools options snapping we can snap to specify grid lines so we can choose which ones so when we go near that line it's going to go exactly to that setting and we don't have to but also we can pick from the a pick list so we can say well i want to start i want that one to start at bridge one and i want it to go to bridge three for example so it's very very useful for um connecting setting distances that are uh, obscure and saves you a lot of typing so uh, that is the end of exercise nine